Okay, our next speaker, <laughs> Chris the Fur Buffet. I'm not going to go there. I'm not really sure where that, maybe he could explain that to you, but he's from Minneapolis and a wedding and portrait photographer. And one of the things he's built quite a reputation for is the Facebook guru. And so Chris is going to share with us, um, he's been featured in, I'm going to read him because there's so many great places, Good Morning America, New York Times, LA Times, Entrepreneur Magazine. And interesting, I found this really great, he's one of only two companies to be highlighted in the Facebook IPO filing. So that's a uh, pretty good credentials coming up here. So Chris, come on up and share some info with us. Chris Meyer. <laughs> So first of all, my credentials are for Facebook and typing stuff out, not speaking in front of groups of super intimidating photographers. <laughs> so I apologize in advance, I'm probably going to cheat a little bit, but um, as Kevin said, my name's Chris. I'm a uh, small business owner and a photographer, um, but most importantly, I'm actually a professional quitter. Um, it's something that I've been working really hard on and you know, most of the time when people hear the term quitting, they think of something negative. Um, but I want to try and take the next couple of minutes and teach you um, that, that quitting is actually something that can be really good. Um, can help you create space, margin in your lives, and um, that's kind of what, uh, what we're going to go through. So I'm going to help you to cut the ties on all the crap that is just taking up your time, your energy, and your effort. Um, there's so many things that we as photographers have to go to. Um, you know, it's just there's so much stuff that we put up with. Um, you know, every day you're not. Your goal is not to be you know, the CEO, the, the IT consultant, the janitor, the editor, the marketing person. You know, your job is to be an artist. You know, we need to just uh, kind of focus on, on what we're doing. Um, your job is not to go out and create the same damn thing every single time at every single session. Um, your job is to just go out there and to do something new and different and to just create and you know, just to be expressive. So the only way to grow is to become a quitter. And those that are truly successful in their business are those that, that know how to quit. They create margin in their lives by taking out all this, all this bull crap, basically. Um, so how do you become a quitter? Well, the key, is, the key is to start small. Most people fail at quitting because they try and give up too much too quickly. Um, <laughs> So um, I personally shoot over 450 portraits, 12 to 15 weddings, uh, run a daily deal website for photographers, spend about, or teach about 700 photographers a year and spend 350 hours in consulting every year. So how do I get so much done? Well, it's simple. I quit all the things that were killing my passion. Um, the way to become a true quitter is to find out and to find out what really drives you is to give up something once a week. Now that sounds intimidating, but again, start small. Um, I make it religious. Every Tuesday morning, 10 a.m., I have something on my schedule, quit something. So maybe it's a, maybe it's a pose. Maybe it's, I'm not going to do this thing anymore. Or, you know, no longer sending emails. Have, hire somebody to do it for you. Or editing, um, marketing, sales. There's so many things that you can get rid of. Maybe it's a type of photography that's killing your creativity. Maybe you don't like doing maternity or seniors or families. Uh, maybe just weddings. Maybe you're only doing it for the paycheck. I mean, sure, paychecks are nice but so is living a full and happy life. So I want you to think for a moment, what's the smallest aspect of your business that you can give to somebody else, that you can delegate out? Maybe it's packaging orders. What could you do with one extra hour of your time every week? Would you take a vendor out to lunch? Would you shoot another session? Would you spend more time with your family or friends? What would you do with five hours? Think of that for a minute. What could you learn? What could you perfect? What kind of relationships could you build and nurture? There's just so much that you could do in five hours per week by giving up the crap. Um, what would your family do with an extra five hours of your time? Think about that for a minute. What, like, how many more school plays and soccer games and you know, how many play dates could you take with your little girl? And how many imaginary dragons could you slay with your son? Well, why aren't we doing this already? Simple. Photographers, control freaks. All of us. <laughs> We're freaking crazy. We think that we need to do everything ourselves when in the reality that's absolute bull. Um, there's just, I'm just so sick and tired of listening to photographer after photographer that is not willing to give up on stuff because they think that they need to do everything themselves. But I'm here to give you permission to quit. Permission to give it up. Don't think about it. Just do it. Just move on to something else and think about how much happier your friends, your family, your life and your sleep schedule would be with an extra one to five hours per week. 
I give you permission to create some margin in your life, to just give that up, just to get rid of all the unfulfilling crap that's taking up your time. I give you permission to go out and pursue something that you've never done before because you haven't had the opportunity or the time or the energy or the effort to do it. I give you the permission to go out and learn something new. Maybe it's a new type of photography, maybe it's a new lighting setup, or maybe it's to go and pursue a new venture with, uh, with a new vendor or something like that. Or what about hobbies? Does anybody remember what a hobby is? Yeah. Anyone? I, most people don't. So, so I want you to go out, um, find something this Tuesday, find something to quit, find something to create a little bit of space because time is the only thing that is ticking away and it's an absolute finite amount. It's the one thing that you can never make more of. So why give it up to the things that you hate? Why not fill yourself, um, why not start down a path to you know, create more space, more margin, and to live a more full life, but this time full of the right things and not full of all the crap that you know, we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. So today I want you to start quitting and start to succeed.